Hi guys. Each year in the Netherlands we celebrate Saint Nicholas, a centuries-old man who leaves his home in Spain to travel per steamboat to each city and on national TV, TV to hand out gifts and treats to the children. He doesn't do this alone, he has help. So from mid-November until December 5th, walking around the Netherlands, you have a good chance of bumping into his companions, Black Pete's. Dressed in colorful renaissance attire, but with blackface makeup. Black because he moves through the chimney to give all the kids their presents, but with big red lips and earrings that symbolize slavery. The first time that someone mentioned that this was a form of racism was back in 1965, but a very big part of my oh-so-tolerant country refuses to adjust to worldly decent standards. This year, for the first time ever, all Dutch TV networks have agreed to change the color of Black Pete's skin, showing White Pete's rainbow-colored Pete's, yes, even Stroopwafel Pieten. But still, a big majority of the cities in the Netherlands keep using public money to keep a tradition alive that should have been changed decades ago. This week I am playing a game that originally had no problem with you buying slaves to get you further in the game. But soon they offered replacements and called them Fakirs. This week I am playing Five Tribes. In Five Tribes each turn starts with a bidding round for player order. And then in turn players start moving colored tribesmen around the board in a mancala like motion. Meaning they pick up all the meeples in one area and then drop one off in each adjacent field. The last colored meeple you place determines which tribe action you will take. And the amount of that color already in that field determines the strength of your action. Those used meeples are then removed from the board and if that means that the area you ended up in is cleared out of meeples, that means you can own that tile and that gives you a benefit. But if you did not manage to clear the tile of meeples, you can still perform the tile action, giving you different possibilities to make points. The game is definitely fun to play, but if every player wants to make the best out of every move, there can be a lot of downtime with players figuring out what is the best move out of there. I know this has been a very, very, very short overview of the game, but it really is fun to play, so maybe this is just enough to let you try it out. Five Tribes. My name is Dave Dujan. Thanks for watching.